Or it was a very strange feeling, yeah, to, to know that we, we were there and at any moment the way the winds blew that it could have come to the next town, which would have been exactly where we were. A woman from East Palestine talks about a family ordeal caught on the island of Maui as wildfires were coming dangerously close. Now, after getting through the toxic train derailment in February, a couple from East Palestine went to Hawaii only to run into the Maui wildfire. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shares how they dodged it and got off the island. It was a vacation Mary and Brandon Huff had planned for a year and a half, a trip to the island of Maui. The East Palestine couple arrived last Sunday and spent the first two days enjoying paradise. And Tuesday when we woke up, we had no electricity due to the high winds. I mean, at that point, we didn't know anything about fires. That afternoon, they went grocery shopping at a local Walmart, still unaware of the fast-moving wildfires just a few miles away. But suddenly, traffic came to a standstill and the roads were closed. There was no way to get back to our resort. We were stranded. With nowhere to go, they were forced to sleep in their rented Jeep with all the groceries they'd just purchased. We stayed um, at first in the Walmart parking lot and then went across the street to the Target, and we spent the night in the Target parking lot. By Wednesday, the situation had worsened to the point where officials were urging tourists to get off the island, only there were few flights available. As Mary and her husband were desperately trying to find a way off the island and get back home again, they didn't want to tell anybody here in town what was happening to avoid frightening them. Finally, Mary says she was able to grab the last two seats on a flight leaving Thursday morning, leaving all their luggage behind. They were booked at first and then they had become available. So we were able to switch our flights that were originally to leave on Saturday. Ironically, the ordeal wasn't the first close call they've experienced. Both endured the train derailment a few miles from their home back in February. You never think that two disasters like this would happen to you in the same year. For now, Mary says she and her husband won't be planning any more trips to Hawaii. In East Palestine, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.